Well, the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon begins this Sunday. Our team here at PBS North has been hitting the trails with local mushers as they train for this weekend's festivities. Producer Megan McGarvey traveled up the North Shore to catch up with Jennifer Frecking and her team. It's hard to describe um, working with the dogs on the trail. Running the dogs is uh, kind of, is, you just feel free and fun traveling the country and you kind of see the world through the dogs' eyes. They're always excited to see what's around the next corner and their drive and motivation and enthusiasm. And it's really the, the dog's love of what we do that makes us so excited to go out with them. Every dog has their own qualities. The team this year is so fun and they're so polite. They've been, they've been developing over the last few years, um, but some of my things that make me so happy with my team is how, how connected they are with me. When I, we've had a lot of moose holes on the trail this year, and when I, had, I see moose tracks coming on the trail, they need to slow down. They can, get, they can put a leg into a moose hole and hurt their leg. And when I, I say easy, and they just slow down and they listen, their ears are all pinned back and they're waiting. Um, as they dice through the moose holes to, as soon as I'm like, all right, they take off again. And it's really cool to have them that responsive and, and in tune with what I need. Uh, and when I need to stop, like, my team actually woes, which is a rarity with sled dogs. So <laughs> I really appreciate how they just roll in the snow and watch me until I'm ready to go. I'm really not scared of them leaving me, which again is very rare for sled dogs. Usually they just keep trying to ditch you, it seems like. They can pull that snow hook and run. <laughs> so yeah, they're really sweet. They're a really sweet team. Yeah, we're passionate about our Siberian Huskies. They're, they're very well-bred working Siberian Huskies. They've always been bred to be sled dogs. Most of the Siberian Huskies on the, in the world haven't been bred as working dogs anymore. They're pets, they're show dogs, they have other, you know, and you naturally lose some of those traits that are needed to do this kind of, um, uh, you know, sled work. You might remember in 2019 when we had the polar vortex, um, I came in second place. <laughs> My team was so happy. I had all 12 dogs and in second place. And they, it's just, they, they, they run well in all the conditions, but they, and all teams like the cold. They really like 10, 10 below to 10 above. Um, but sometimes when it's colder than that, our dogs are just in their element. And some of the dogs that are more, a little more houndy, you know, a little thinner coated might not be quite as happy. So we, it, for me, it'd be really sad to look out there and not see a really good Siberian team. That's, where we're, I guess, more preservationists. Take pride in those dogs. It's hard to recreate the, the enthusiasm of being at a race. The dogs are so pumped up to be there. So I spent the entire race trying to convince them to run slower, even though it's not like we won the race, I, but I wanted them to pace themselves slower because they, they just, you know, go out here, I can hold them easy at 10 miles an hour. There, they're trying to go 12 miles an hour, and I know that they'll run themselves out of steam. So convincing them they should set our pace, not, you know, not drive that hard. I mean, it's hard picking who, who to keep on the team and who not to run which is a good problem to have because they're all so strong and doing really well. So it's hard to decide not who not to take onto the Bear, bear Grease. I'm just really excited to get out on the trail and enjoy it. It's, it's beautiful conditions. It's been, really been a nice snow season, so the trail should be gorgeous. And I, I, I love the other teams and the other competitors. Um, you know, a lot of these people are people we've been running the, the races with for a long time, and it's always great to get back out there and run the trail with everybody. This year, your daughter is also running in the Bear Grease yes. 40, so <laughs> mm -hmm. how does it feel to have that kind of family continuation? Of it's wild. It's really fun. Yeah, seeing her get to uh, connecting with the team and get out on a trail, it'll be her first time to see a, a segment of the Bear Grease Trail, and um, yeah, I know she'll have a great time. Most of the bear time in the Bear Grease, often Blake and I are running together, so I do, I love running the trail with Blake, and I guess sometime down the trail, I'll be running that trail with Elena, so that's, that's wild to think about. 